The other was called the MFT, Missile Facility Technician. That individual was responsible for all of the systems within this complex that kept it operational, okay? Now, these two locks were the property of the two officers on crew. They were issued to them when they became combat qualified and they set their own combination into that lock and told nobody. Only they knew the combination to their own individual lock. Consequently, it took two people in agreement to gain entry to the safe. Always put your left hand on that launch. Give us a three, two, one, launch, count down on launch. I want you to turn your key all the way to the right, hold it for five seconds, and I will do the same on your count, sir. Three, two, one. Turn, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Release key. Very good. You can sit down. What happened? One guy changed his mind. Somebody else, believe me, would have turned that key. There were four crew members. Yeah. Okay, okay. First light is green, says launch enable. That means the correct code's in the butterfly valve block. It's going to open, the missile will fly. Next is batteries activated. On board the missile, two small 28 volt batteries are being activated. Within 28 seconds, that missile will be on its own internal power. It won't need us anymore for power. You're going to get a light that says APS, auxiliary power system is in effect. Now, a lot of things are happening now. One of which is that big silo closure see it, feel it, or hear it, but it just went through the tipsy beams. Your light now reads silo soft or vulnerable. Next light is guidance go, which indicates the computer is coordinating with the missile for the final time. All the coordinates are in place. Fuel and oxidizer are flowing. We're getting that hypergolic reaction. Water is being flooded in. Flaxen indicating fire in the launch duct. Four seconds later, the engines reach max power. Explosive bolts holding to the thrust mount detonate. You have a liftoff light. Total time between key turn Liftoff was 58 seconds. There is no oops button here. There was no way for the crew at this point to communicate with the missile. They could not control its flight path, they couldn't call it back, nor could they destroy it in flight. Because had we built a system like that in, of course, which they had on test launches, at some point our adversaries would have learned the procedure for doing that and that would not have been a good thing. Now roughly 30, 35 minutes from now, about 6,000 miles from here, Target 2 will cease to exist. Good job, Major. How Great. long between <laughs> EA and... <laughs> Do you see where we are? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's closed. This is the... What is this level called? Level 7 is This is level yeah. 7, yeah. Is that the last no, area? There's, there's uh, actually two more levels. I'm going to go to one more level. Would you mind saying what they are as we go? Because I'm just going to take a video of the... Well, I... As we see. This is level three, but I don't know what's on that. I'll okay. be very honest. It's been so long since I've climbed up and down in here. Uh -huh. Going up the this a lot of equipment. This is level five here. Mm -hmm. Don't Some springs. Keep your arms and Even the lights. Right. You're right. Even lights have springs. That's Everything amazing. is spring loaded down here for shock. That's amazing. A little air vent. Yep. That's where the Mission Impossible guys would be climbing. Some more air handling. Level three is where this uh, engine, the, the motor for diesel driven in for power and generator is going. Power and generator for the rocket? No, for the lighting and everything. Huh? Okay. Ladies, launch array. <laughs> to go back down and back and forth right. you know, from the launch control center that you know is what drives the lights and stuff on the control. Okay. That's where we came from. High speed pizza delivery. <laughs> <laughs>